Today I'm going to walk you through using your APowerSoft free online video converter today. First, all you want to do is you want to access this site here, which is www.apowersoft.com forward slash free dash online dash video dash converter. And you're just going to simply follow these three simple steps. First step is going to, you're going to browse your computer to find a file that you want to actually convert. This box is going to pop up, which is requesting for the applet to access your computer. And of course, you do want to allow it. So I am actually going to use a USB to get video off of. Uh, yeah. And as you can see, this is an AVI file there. So I'm going to select that. Step two, you have the option of selecting the file that you want, which um, I'm going to keep it as the MP4 because this file is actually an AVI. I'm not going to change the video or the audio settings, but keep in mind that you can change the video settings and the audio settings. I'm going to skip down to step three and just go ahead and click on convert. Now it's going to ask you what you want your file name to be and where you want it to save at. I'm going to save it to my desktop so that I can show you where it goes. And I'm just going to keep it as a generic name and click on save. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And as you can see, this is a pretty small video. So it's, gonna, it's not going to take that long to actually convert. And as you can see, you can actually watch your conversion. So while that's convert, converting, I'm going to show you what your other options are as far as your video settings for resolution. You have it for, as you can see, it will go any of these pixels as well as for your iPhone, your iPad, or anything custom. Of course, I left it as it is. By trait, again, have all of these options and you can also customize it. Frame rate, same. And again, uh, for the audio, you have by traits again, the channel, which is stereo and mono, and the sample rate, which goes up to 96,000 hertz. And of course, I left everything standard. But those are all your options for changing anything. And here, as you can see, it's moving pretty fast to actually convert the video. We are at 36 seconds. It's 80%. Now, I chose to use a USB, but as you've seen, you can get it from anywhere on your computer if you convert. See, now it's complete. Here is the video that we downloaded. Exit out of that. And voila! We have the video that we want, and it was even saved to the desktop as such. See? So, that's it.